Hello, my name is Andrew Kaunitz, professor and associate chair in the OBGYN department, University of Florida College of Medicine in Jacksonville. Today, I'd like to discuss extended use of GnRH antagonists in treating patients with symptomatic uterine fibroids. Uterine lyomyomas or fibroids represent the most common indication for hysterectomy in U.S. women, with the burden of this disease disproportionately borne by black women. Gonadotropin-releasing hormone or GnRH antagonists comprise a new class of orally active medications which bind to GnRH receptors, thereby rapidly and reversibly suppressing ovarian steroid production. Combined with estradiol and norethindrone ADBAC therapy, two GnRH antagonists, Oligolix and Relugolix, are currently FDA approved for the treatment of heavy menstrual bleeding associated with uterine fibroids for up to six months. Full disclosure, I participate in an advisory board for Myovant, manufacturer of Relugolix. Used alone, the profound hypoestrogenism caused by GnRH antagonists results in loss of bone mineral density, or BMD. This decline in BMD is attenuated by hormone ADBAC therapy. In the December issue of ACOG's Green Journal, investigators present results of a 52-week trial of relugalix combined with ADBAC therapy in women with fibroids and heavy menstrual bleeding. The study found that the profound suppression of heavy bleeding noted in earlier six-month trials was sustained over one year of use, with a mean reduction in menstrual blood loss of 89.9%, with 70% of participants achieving amenorrhea. With respect to BMD, loss at the spine at 52 weeks was less than 1%. To put that minimal loss of BMD in perspective, lactation, a hypoestrogenic condition, is associated with a 3 to 5% loss of BMD, and this loss reverses rapidly after the baby is weaned. GnRH antagonists, already approved as combination agents for the treatment of heavy menstrual bleeding associated with fibroids, and for pain associated with endometriosis, have great potential to treat other common gynecologic conditions, which are dependent on ovarian steroid production, including uterine adenomyosis and polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's my hope that these reassuring 52-week data will lead to eventual approval of combined GnRH antagonist therapy for longer periods of time, thereby increasing the, the clinical utility of these novel and important agents. I'm Andrew Kaunitz. Please take care of yourself and each other.